Good day to all of you. We greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Blessed One, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, who is our King and our Savior, our Redeemer, our Provider, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Let me take you to a scripture and let's read uh, Psalm 28 and verse 6 onwards. Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my supplications blessed be the lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication the lord is my strength and my shield my heart trusted in him i'm helped therefore my heart shall rejoice with my song will i praise him the lord is their strength and he is the saving strength of his anointed save thy people bless thine inheritance feed them also lift them up forever lift them up forever we see this in the prayer of the psalmist david he said blessed be the lord because he heard the voice of my supplications let me tell you come on people people who trust in the name of the lord god almighty you better believe that he heard your prayer and he has answered you trust him believe in him and the next verse says the lord is my strength and my shield we got to believe that he is our strength and our shield our protection we are common and people fear not we have a shield of protection and he has strengthened up in a me in a beings believe trust him my heart has trusted him and i am helped my heart has already trusted him but our flesh needs to trust him also we need to we need to let our five senses know that we don't live by the five senses we live by the spirit of god who is inside of us my heart has trusted him so let's let's believe and let our five senses also turn around and say no i'm not going to believe what i see in the natural but i'm going to believe what i've already believed in my heart and i know that i'm helped i have all the help and the support that i need all the days of my life i'm not afraid i trust in the lord who is the keeper of my soul greatly therefore my heart greatly rejoices my heart rejoices i believe it's it's a time of rejoicing we don't rejoice because of all what's happening around to the people we rejoice because he is still king of king and lord of lords he hasn't changed his position He is the Lord of Lords and he is the King of Kings. Let's put our trust in him. And with my song I will praise him. Sing unto him, praise him, honor him, give him all the glory due to his holy name. For he is who he said he is. When he says I'm your healer, he is your healer. He is your provider. When he says he's my pro- he's my provider or when I say he's my provider, I better believe that he provides all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus not according to the economy of the country but he provides me according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus he not only meets my needs he also takes care of my wants because the lord is my shepherd and i shall be in a position that i will not want believe in the abundant supply of god he is a great god he is a mighty god He is a great supplier of all good things to his covenant people. Do you believe that you have a covenant with God? Do you believe that you have a blood covenant with Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, who has also made a covenant with Almighty God, he being the mediator between God and man? We better put our trust in him. And if you have never understood what a covenant means, we tend to disbelieve what he said in his word and we start believing what the circumstances tell us the circumstances are talking to us daily moment by moment i think it's time for us to switch off to the circumstances and start trusting 
in the word of the Lord where all my strength where all my supply comes from let's put our trust in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ who said I'll never leave you nor forsake you he is the strength of our life he is a promise giver and also a promise keeper let's trust in his covenant we are covenant people Jesus made a covenant with us Jesus the son of the living god we have a covenant with him we believe that he made a covenant with god and he being the mediator of this great covenant brought salvation into our lives how does salvation come into our lives is it because of our good deeds or what we have done or what we seem to feel right and maybe god has really cared much about me no he made a covenant with us we because we believe in the name of jesus christ we are covenant people we believe in the name of the lord jesus christ he said i'll never leave you nor forsake you that's the part of the bargain that's part of the deal that he made with us if you really had to understand in that manner but his covenant language that he had made a complete agreement with us and that's why he says if two shall agree in touching anything it's because of the covenant my father in heaven will do it for you here on earth if two of you touching anything here on earth you better believe that he is still the same god who answers our prayer i rather have a covenant with god than to believe and have a covenant with the circumstances around I rather have a covenant with God and I truly have a covenant with God and every one of you believe who who believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you have a covenant with God so believe this day is your day and according to the scripture where it says therefore will my heart rejoice greatly therefore my heart rejoices greatly i'm greatly rejoicing it's time for covenant people to rise up and start rejoicing because the joy of the lord is your strength and that word strength means protection if you need protection in your life start rejoicing the bible also tells us that joy is good as medicine so i rather rejoice in the lord than for me to be sad about what's happening around i'm truly truly concerned about of the people we're talking about people dying we're talking about people who are going through issues in their lives these are real issues but every one of us who put our trust in the lord shall be saved every one of us let's put our trust in the lord let's keep our focus straight on the lord and say god my belief is in you you hear my prayer when i pray you hear my prayer the lord is their strength people would call and say the lord is their strength and he is the saving strength of his anointed and uh, people are going to see that the lord is your strength and he is the saving strength he is also somebody who is your strength and is also saving you and he takes you from strength to strength the strength of your salvation let's trust in the name of the lord jesus christ the name that is above every other name where every sickness and disease needs to bow down to the name of Jesus Christ children of the most high god covenant people of god rise up to your position believe in the name of the lord jesus christ believe in the name that has saved people that's saving people that's looking forward to meet the needs of the people We are blessed as we keep trusting in the name of the Lord. Believe all things are possible to them that believe. Keep your eyes fixed on the Lord. He's your shepherd. He's your provider. Let's read another another promise from the book of Psalm 34. Psalm 34. And it tells us here in Psalm 34 Verse number 8 Oh taste and see that the Lord is good Oh taste and see that the Lord is good 
Blessed is the man who trusted in him. Blessed are you because you trust him. Blessed are you because you trust him. Test and see that the Lord is good. If you have never come into the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, today is your day. Maybe tonight or maybe probably are watching at daytime or night time. You can say Lord Jesus come into my heart. I want to come into a relationship with you. I want to be a covenant child just as I hear others talk about. It's never too late. The man who hung on the cross, he didn't find it self being too late. Being a criminal, he looked to the Lord Jesus and he said, "Remember me when you come." into your kingdom and Jesus turned around to him and said today you shall be with me in the place that I'm going to be in today and he said today I'm going to be in paradise you're going to be with me in paradise where the company of old testament saints were and he was supposed to take them up to heaven in 3 days and today you can be saved Today is the day of salvation. Don't keep it for another day. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Oh, fear the Lord, or oh, have high reverence to what He says. Yea, He says, for there is no want to them that fear Him. There is no want to them that fear Him. Trust Him. Trust Him. Believe in Him. Today is the day of your salvation. Let's go to Psalm 95. Psalm 95. It says we'll read a couple of verses from there. Chapter 1, chapter 95 and verse number 1. Oh come, let us sing unto the Lord, let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us make a joyful noise. Let's worship him. praise him let all that mournful attitude of yours go off flee as you start rejoicing in the lord come rejoice come let us sing unto the lord verse number 2 says let us come before his presence with thanksgiving honor him with come to him with thanksgiving honor him with thanksgiving lord I'm so thankful to you Lord for saving my life for making my name known in heaven writing my name in the lamb's book of life and to those who have never believed in Jesus Christ today is your opportunity you can say today I'm going to believe in Jesus and let his presence fill my heart come let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and let us Make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. The the Lord is the great God and the great king above all gods. In his hand are deep are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is he is also. We see everything and who God is. The sea is his he made it his hands has formed the dry land oh come let us worship and bow and let us kneel before our maker let us kneel before our maker for he is our god and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand today if you will hear his voice harden not your heart as in the days of provocation as in the day of temptation in the wilderness trust him don't harden your heart rejoice in the lord loosen yourself don't be in discomfort look up look to the lord the creator of the universe the creator of all good things thank him for every good thing that he has done 
don't harden your heart every person who hardens his or her heart is only because they don't believe trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding he forgives you he heals you he rejoices over you with joy and singing for the salvation that he has given you if you have never trusted in the name of the lord jesus christ today is your day of salvation invite him into your heart and say lord i trust you i believe that jesus died for me and he rose again on the third day i confess with my mouth that jesus is lord i repent of all forms of worship and i believe in the name of the lord jesus christ the name that is above every other name my savior my lord invite him into your heart receive him as your lord and your savior when he comes into your heart your heart is filled with peace that passes all understanding trust in the lord with all your heart keep your eyes focused on him in jesus name amen